Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to math mode. Really interesting problem today, we have an exponential equation 16 to the x minus 12 to the x equal to 9 to the x. And how can we solve it? Of course we can easily start with logarithm right here because we have x, x, x right here, so we can start with logarithm. But I want to show you one really good approach. So first of all, let's divide both sides by 9 to the x. Let's divide both sides by 9 to the x. If we divide it, we will have 16 to the x over 9 to the x minus 12 to the x over 9 to the x equal to 9 to the x over 9 to the x. So we have this, this expression, we just divide on both sides by this 9 to the x, so nothing change. But right here we can easily cancel this and we will have one on the right. So this is really good right now. What are we going to do next? We need to know a really good rule right now, because if we have different bases but same exponent, we can write it as a, in a fraction way, so 16 over 9 all to the power x. In a reverse way, this rule works as well, because we can easily write it as 16 to the x over 9 to the x, so this rule works in both ways. Minus, let's write this rule as well in this case, so 12 over 9 all raised to the power x equal to 1. And a lot of students ask me why I do this, because right now we have like no a really good number integers, we have a fraction, so what are we what are we going to do with this? And I tell them that right here is a really interesting moment right now, because 16 over 9, we can write this 16 as 4 square over 9 as 3 square raised to the power x minus, let's divide right here by 3, we will have 4 over 3 raised to the power x equal to 1. And right now a lot of students see what I what I meant right before, because right now we have one really interesting moment. We can write this 4 square over 3 square as 4 over 3 squared, and of course the main x right here outside x, and minus 4 third to the x and equal to 1. So. A lot of students see right now that right here we'll have looks like quadratic equation with substitution, but right now it's not like that because we have square, we have x. It's not like x square. But there are a lot of a lot of rules, and the main rule that we need this is a rule of interchange. If we have a to the x raised to the power b, we can write it as a to the power b raised to the power x. So we can write it in we can change this power, this exponent. This is correct because we can write it as a to the power b times x and x can be changed uh, multiplication right here it's really good because we can change b times x or x times b doesn't matter so as a result what equation we will have we will have 4 third to the power x all squared minus 4 third to the power x equal to 1 and finally we can see that right here, this is a quadratic equation with substitution, because 4 third to the x, it's really good to write as t, and right here, 4 third to the x, it's really good to write as t. So our substitution, let 4 third to the x equal to, equal to t. What quadratic equation we'll have? Right here, not t, but t square at first, t square minus t minus 1, from here I bring it to the left, equal to 0. Real quick to roots, because this is quadratic equation, A, B, C, we can real quick find in, in our minds, in our brain, because we write here A equal to 1, B equal to minus 1, and C equal to minus 1, so T first, let's go with the plus sign, so we have 1 plus square root of 4 plus 1, we have square root of 5 over 2, this is our first T, and the second T equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. And right now one really interesting moment, because this is a positive root right here, this is root with a plus sign, and is this root is positive as well, because positive numerator and positive denominator, this is positive always. And on the right hand side we have the negative root, because 1, because one minus square root of 5, this is negative, over positive, this equal to negative, this root is negative, the left hand side this is negative root, on the right hand side is negative root. And right here we had a substitution that 4 third to the x equal to t. But 4 third to the x, this is our exponential function. And our exponential function does not touch this, this x is x right here. Does not touch it, okay? So as a result, as you can see right here, we don't need negative values of this t. And we reject this, we reject this root. 
we need to work only with this positive one, so we had a substitution, so for third to the x equal to t, but t equal to this, so 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. A little bit complicated expression, but if you know a little bit about logarithm, we can easily solve it. Let's take base, let's take logarithm for third, so base for third on the left, so right here for third to the x equal to log base for third of this expression. So of this expression. So right here we will have only our x equal to log base of 4 third. This is our base of this expression. So 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. This is our base. This is our expression right here. Of course we can simplify this a little bit. We can write this log 4 third in our denominator, but I want to leave it like that. So of course if you have a telephone, you can easily, real quick, find this solution. So this is my approach. I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. I really appreciate it. And of course, thank you and have a great day. See you in the next videos.